Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this typo cylinder in After Effects. First step, let's create a new composition. Go to new composition. I'm going to make the width 1920. I'm going to rename it as text. And the duration is going to be 15 seconds, frame 30 frames per second. Click OK. Select the text, click, type in whatever you want. From here, press and hold control and double click on the pen behind tool. Now the anchor point is centered. I'm going to select the selection tool and arrange it here to the center. I'm going to select the layer, press the letter S to scale, scale it down. And I'm going to multiply this. So I'm going to select all, control C, space, control V. Actually, I'm going to add a space in here too. It's going to be control C and I'm going to remove the space in here. And I'm going to add it here, control V, control V. And I'm going to position it to the left. I'm going to select the layer, press the letter P. And we're going to click on the stopwatch and push this to the end. And I'm going to go all the way to the left with this. I don't know how much was that. Oh yeah, something like this. I'm also going to right click here, click on new, select the solid. And it's going to be like black. I'm going to rename it as background, click OK. Drag the background under the type and now we're going to crop this. I'm going to select the region of interest and I'm going to select this area. I'm going to go to composition and crop comp to region of interest. Good. All right, we're going to go here, right click new composition and I'm going to rename this as text comp. Click OK. I'm going to drag in the text. I'm going to press Control D so this way it duplicates. I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to type into the effects and presets invert. We're going to invert this. I'm going to drag and drop on this one. And of course, if you want to add more colors, actually, I'm going to duplicate this control D and I'm going to go to the effects and presets type in channel combiner. I'm just going to drag it into this text. And what I did, you know, is just combine a few of the options here. You got like RGB to HLS or vice versa. I had somewhere the pink and I made it happen somehow. What if I put the inverse on this? Now I added the inverse also, it's gonna look like this. Or if I add the inverse on the top, it's gonna look like this. So you can do, you do like a pretty cool, interesting uh, tricks in here. And I'm gonna leave it like this. Arrange them again. All right, from here, let's go back to the project. Right click, new composition, type in cylinder. I'm going to type in cylinder 2 because I have one. The width is going to be 1920 by 1080. Actually, I'm going to make it like test it out with 1920 by 1920. Click OK. So drag in the text composition, select the text, press the letter R to rotate, and we're going to rotate it a little. And we're going to type into the effects and presets cylinder. Drag the cylinder into the layer. It's going to look something like this. And now select this little star. And as you can see, it made it look like a ribbon. Actually, I'm going to change the composition settings. I'm going to make the height even bigger. I think I'm going to try it out with 3000. There you go. I'm going to go even further. I'm going to try it out with 4400. That's what's up. From here, I'm going to go to the rotate and I'm going to go to the render and select outside. Okay, select the text comp, press Control D to duplicate it. And we're going to make some copies out of this. And actually, it's in perspective. So I'm going to select both of these and bring it all the way up. Press Control D. I'm going to move these on the top. You also press Shift to, so you isolate it so it doesn't move to left to right. All right, I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to arrange it with the distribute vertically. OK, I'm going to create a new composition. Go to folder, right click new composition and I'm going to make this. Um, I'm thinking about 1080 by 1080. Make it a square and I'm going to bring in the cylinder too, which I did. I'm going to scale this down like so and I'm going to rotate it plus the letter, letter R. You know, and you just create a new copy, control D, position it here. You can also scale it up, press the letter S. You also can rotate it and make nice composition out of it. 
So far this was it, uh, this is an experimentation process of course and thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one, bye bye.